In this video tutorial, I will be teaching you how to create symmetrical pressed flower art mandalas with Adobe Illustrator. So here's an example of a mandala that I created with some pressed flower PNGs. And I actually have some of these PNGs for sale on my Etsy store that I created from flowers that I pressed myself and digitized. Um, and they're very high quality. I'll show you the link to that later. But to get on with the video tutorial, the first thing you're going to do to create a mandala similar to this is go to your file menu and we're going to open a new, create a new document. So go to new and I'm going to make it 5,000 by 5,000 pixels just to make it really big so I have enough room to work. Now we're going to import the flower graphics um, and you can do that by going to file place or you can hit shift command P and I have it open already so I'm just going to select all of the flowers that are within um, this fresh flower PNG pack and I'm going to hit place. I'm just going to click to drop each flower in. Um, this cursor is loaded with nine different flowers Okay, now I have all the flowers in there. So these are all of the flowers that come with that fresh flower PNG pack. Um, and they are all extremely detailed and photorealistic. So there are zero white spaces around these borders. Um, and that is really what you need to be working with to make your um, press flower art look photorealistic and when I drag these over onto a gray background you can really see how very detailed the edges of these that was my break timer how you can see how the edges of these are very um, crisp okay so I'm just going to use a couple of these images right now in this quick little tutorial I'm going to show you. So I'm going to drag these other flowers off of the board. We're going to use the pink flower and a few of these yellow flowers and white flowers. Okay, so you have your flowers together. You need to make a group of flowers. So you want to arrange it in a, a way that will look good if you are going to multiply this in a circular direction. So you're going to be making a copy of this group of flowers however many times you desire to make it go around in a full circle. Um, so to group the objects hit command G or you can go to object and hit group which is right here. Now your next step is to go to the pen tool, click the pen tool, you're going to make one point and you want to put the point, you can put the point wherever you want because you can move it around actually, but the point is just serving as your rotation point for transforming um, this into a mandala. So go back to your black arrow tool, select your objects, including the point at the bottom that you have just created with the pen tool. Go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and then hit Transform. This brings up the dialog box that you need to do this really cool thing that you can do. So the first thing you want to look at is um, you have the Rotate tool here which will you'll have to figure out what angle you want to rotate and we'll mess around with that a little bit. So your point is roughly right here where my black arrow is the point that we made with the pen tool. Click there until that middle bottom square becomes filled with white. And the reason we're doing that is we're setting a rotation point. 
and that is the point we want to rotate the flowers to rotate around and to be the middle of our composition. We're going to turn on the preview button so we can see what we're doing and now we're going to start messing with the number of copies. So I'm going to make about eight copies because eight copies will probably go all the way around without leaving too much space in between. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's roughly, let's see what eight looks like. Put eight into that box. Okay, it doesn't look like anything's happening. I wonder why that is. Oh, it's because the angle is set to zero. So once we start to play with the angle, you'll see that the flowers start to multiply and the angle changes. You can also adjust the angle by um, selecting the number in the box and then using the up or down arrows which is actually how I prefer to do it because I have a lot more control doing it by hand. Okay so once you get your arrangement to a place where you like how it looks, you hit OK. You can always change the number of copies too. You can increase the number of copies to fill in more space. We can put copies and copies on top of copies and more copies until it just gets really filled in. To me that's a little bit much but it might work for you. So I'm gonna stick with 45 copies. Hit OK. Now one thing that you can do is move this around on your artboard now. Because everything is grouped together, if you move any of the flowers or try to move them, it'll move the whole composition. If you want to make adjustments now, you can still make adjustments. And this is actually really um, a very cool feature with the transform tool. So if you double click on any of the flowers that are in the original group and move one around, it will completely change every single flower in each copy that was made. So I'm kind of liking how this is looking. So um, yeah, the last things to do would be to resize your artboard. You don't want to increase the size of any of these flowers, whatever you do. You don't want to do this and stretch them out because while you might not be able to tell here, it's it'll pixelate the images, but these are such high quality that you cannot even tell that I just stretched it out. Um, so yeah, um, I hope that this video tutorial was informative for you and maybe taught you a few things about how to create flower mandalas with Adobe Illustrator and if you have any questions please feel free to comment or contact me. Thanks a lot. Bye.